नमस्कार दोस्तों टेक राइट में आपका स्वागत है आपने अभी तक इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो वीडियो में दिखाई देने वाले लाल रंग के सब्सक्राइब बटन पे क्लिक कीजिए ताकि और भी नए नए टेक्निकल वीडियोस आपके लिए बना सकूं। आपको मेरा ये वीडियो पसंद आया तो प्लीज लाइक कीजिए धन्यवाद वेलकम टू टेक राइट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हॉट पैकेट रेसर हाउ वी कैन यूज द पैकेट रेसर फर्स्ट आई विल गिव द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पैकेट रेसर okay uh, this packet tracer is a simulation based learning environment for networking beginners to design configure and troubleshoot computer networks okay first we will see uh, which version we are using that version is 6.2.0.0052 okay this is the free version uh, available in on the on the web okay uh that download link i am giving in the description uh you can download this cisco packet tracer okay uh first uh, you are seeing uh this is the window of the cisco packet tracer okay first i will tell you about this that uh, first is the uh, menu bar this one is the menu bar in that file edit options view tools extensions help these are the options are available uh, then this is the main toolbar uh, these are the shortcuts okay uh, there is a shortcuts are the uh, new open uh, you can open the file then save the file print you can take the print out of that then uh, redo undo okay then you can zoom in zoom out these all are functions are available in the uh, main, uh, menu toolbar or main toolbar okay and this you can see uh, this is the this is called the workspace in which we are creating our computer networks okay and uh, there are two workspace that is first one is the logical workspace and second one is the physical workspace okay then move to the devices which devices are available in the packet tracer uh, these are some devices uh, first uh, this one is the end devices this is the pc laptop these all are available in the end devices uh, then uh, you can use switch routers these also are available and there is a connect uh, uh, for the connection purpose there is a automatic connection or you can use also coaxial cable then serial cable you can also use okay then we are you we are going to the this common toolbar uh, this is the common toolbar and there are some tools uh, we are uh, i am explaining just first go to the packet tracer okay now you can see these are the devices this is called the end devices first i will click on that end devices in that uh, pc is available laptop server then printer ip phone view ip phone normal phone then tv this all devices are available in the end devices now i will move to the switches which switches are available there is the 24 port switch are available okay then go to the router okay this generic router is also available available here okay this all are the devices then you can see connections from pc to pc i want to get a connection for that this is the automatically you can choose or you can also check for that copper straight through cable connection then copper crossover connection then fiber connection is also av available then phone connection okay there's so a lot of connections are available here there's a lot of wires are available okay okay first we will see how i can design one simple network okay first i will choose the end devices i will choose the pc then i will choose the 
laptop okay then i want to connect from pc0 to laptop0 for that i will simply click on that copper straight through wire fast ethernet 0 then here fast ethernet 0 that shows me red icon that means that connection is not proper then i have to delete that connection for that click on that delete button in the common menu bar okay i, I will delete simply delete that connection then i will try for that this copper crossover okay this is copper crossover fast ethernet 0 to this fast ethernet 0 okay this connection is proper that's why that give me the green color okay green color means connection is perfect okay like this uh, you can connect another end devices like server i want to connect the server but this laptop has only one port only one ethernet port that's why this is not allowing me to give the connection from laptop 0 to server 0 see here which connection error is displayed that is the the cable cannot be connected to that port ok i will click on the ok then i will escape that means uh, we cannot connect laptop 0 to server 0 for that we require the switch ok now we will see the switch i will choose this 24 port switch ok i will choose i will choose, I will choose that uh, switch 0 then click on the automatic connection then click on switch 0 to PC0 ok after that again I am choosing this automatically connection click on that switch 0 and connect to the laptop 0 again switch 0 to server 0 ok now you can see at the end at the end devices PC0 laptop 0 and server 0 that are showing me the green color but here at, uh, at the switch that is showing me orange color that means connection is in the progress after that this PC0 connected properly that's why that giving me at the both ends green color now see laptop 0 both ends green color and at the server 0 both ends are green that means connection is proper ok then I can also see the switch 0 see here switch 0 switch 0 uh, that is the 24 port see here these are all are the 24 ports are and this is the PC 0 only one ethernet port here for the laptop 0 I already show me that is the only one ethernet port then for the server 0 there is also only one ethernet port ok then I will give any IP address to the PC 0 ok for that click on the PC 0 then click on desktop tab and go to the IP configuration uh, I will first choose the static IP address and I will assign one static IP address that is 192.168.2.1 then automatically it give me the subnet mask as a 255.255.255.0 ok then go to the laptop 0 then go to the desktop same procedure I will choose here 192.168.2.2 then give subnet mask automatically 
then go to the server 0 go to the desktop IP configuration static IP address 192.168.2.3 ok I assign all the IP address to the PC 0, laptop 0 and server 0 now I, now I can see here see here this is one IP address is assigned to that PC 0 that is 192.2.1 then this is the 2.2 and this is the 2.3 I can also give the label for that what is the IP address of this PC 0 that is 192.168.2.1 ok I place that then again this is the 192.168.2.2 and next that is for the server 0 that is 192.168.2.3 ok now I want to see is their connection is proper or not in between PC 0, laptop 0 and server 0 by using the switch ok for that I will click on the PC 0 then go to the desktop tab and then go to the command prompt and there is uh, one command to see uh, what is the IP address of that device for that command is IP config IP config is command then click enter that will show me that IP address as a 192.168.2.1 ok then subnet mask is given ok uh, this is of this is IP address of the PC 0 then go to the laptop 0 IP config 2.2 ok that is also correctly given then go to the server 0 that is IP address I want to see IP config that is a 2.3 ok now I want to see that packets can send from PC 0 to laptop 0 or not for that go to the command prompt and there is a command that is ping command uh, what is that ping command that is packet tracer PC ping uh, by the ping command I can see uh, there is a connection is proper or not from the PC to laptop or not ok for that ping then give the IP address of the destination device that is my mm, now in this case my destination device is laptop 0 and that uh, lap that IP address is 2.2 ok then enter ok that pinging and that's also giving the reply from the 2.2 that is laptop 0 ok they are getting perfect re reply and that packets sent are 4 and received 4 that means lost is 0 that means connection is proper ok now I can see from laptop 0 to server 0 connection is proper or not at first IP address of this laptop 0 is 2.2 and uh, destination our, uh, in this case destination is server 0 so give command ping 192.168.2.3 ok now you can see we are also getting the reply from server ok that means connection is perfect ok thus we create one simple connection in the LAN ok uh, by using the switch ok uh, now we have to save that file this option file save then it save the uh, now I am giving the file name that is p 
PC to server connection by using switch ok this file is saved properly ok thank you